Hey guys, welcome back to Vio's Garage. We're going right now. We have to check something really cool out. I'm hoping that this car is still there. It's an amazing BMW E34 that I saw a couple of years ago when I was here. So hopefully it's here still and hopefully we can talk to the amazing Japanese owner of that BMW. All right guys, so this is the amazing BMW E34 and it's still here, so it makes me really happy. Uh, the last time when I talked to the owner, I don't think he's home right now. We will check later possibly, but uh, last time when I talked to him, he said that he only drives this car during the summertime and uh, you know, he, he loves this car so much and he also keeps the triple charger plugged in and this car is actually, I mean, it's a little dusty right now, but you know, it's been sitting here for a bit and um, other than that it runs drives everything he's really taking care of this car he loves it it's got a really nice uh, black leather interior in it and everything else honestly i really really love this car beautiful beautiful machine it's got beautiful wheels ac schnitzer beautiful it's got the lamps right here the fender lamps for the turn signals got everything i mean like I like how these uh, mirrors right here just fold up really nicely. It's, the, the color of this car is really immaculate. It's awesome. Like I love the dark blue color of these uh, 5 Series BMWs from the 90s. It's really, really amazing, guys. And uh, like I was telling you right there, you can see trickle charger is uh, plugged in everything a beautiful fog lamps and this car uh, from last time when i was here i remember this car does not have that many kilometers on it at all um i think it just barely has a hundred thousand kilometers which is nothing for these cars nothing absolutely and as you can see all the emblems are still amazing as you know a lot of these cars have problems with the emblems either the emblems are faded away or something else is wrong with them but this car is all original beautiful i really really love this thing and it's a v8 also it's got the m62 engine in this thing so really beautiful uh, if you guys like these uh, side markers let me know um i mean i kind of really like them i think that it depends on the color of the e34s honestly some of the e34s look really good with orange turn signals some of them look really good with these ones like this color fits it really well and also with these wheels as well and as you can see guys the steering wheel is on the right side and this is an automatic um, but it's literally like i said guys the, the car is immaculate you know we met the owner last time a couple of years ago um, and he was really really cool he let us look at this car he opened the interior he started the engine for us he did everything so really big kudos for amazing owners like that for taking care of their amazing classic cars And here's the back of the car, guys. All right, it looks really, really awesome. It's got AC Schnitzer badges. Um, and literally, there's zero rust on this car, guys. Uh, I mean, like I said, it needs to be cleaned up and everything, but um, he will get that done. <laughs> but like I said, this is super amazing. And the bumper looks really different than just a basic E34. Um, everything looks really, really different. Um, and it's got those that beautiful exhaust right there the exhaust tips um i don't know too much uh, about what else this car has um you know different from base model but it's just i just love everything about these five series beamers like look at this thing this is so cool like how the everything is shaped um on these cars and uh this is by the way this is literally this is original this has a bmw uh, logo right there so this is no no chinese garbage or anything like that and these are hellas right there looks really really awesome guys let me know your thoughts in the comments but super digging this car i mean i would really love to buy it and just uh, ship it to the united states with me <laughs> and that's how i'm digging this car this is literally the showroom condition car this is this belongs to a museum 
also guys i've never really seen too many of these um headlamp washers on the e34s at all uh, so that's pretty like a rare option uh, i mean i would love to look up the vin number of this car and just to find out what kind of options this car has from the factory but it has a bunch of options guys and i'm going to tell you right now especially because it's a v8 so obviously the bigger the engine the more options it's going to have and what, what's really amazing is like all these fog lamps they're not even like cracked or nothing like this is how cool it is i'm super happy that the owner keeps this car here and he's not driving it during just horrible winter um you know you know how bad it is to drive uh, all these just any car in general uh in winter time it's pretty bad so i'm really happy because the owner understands and he just keeps it here plugged in into the battery charger and amazing big uh big shout out to the owner he's awesome and uh He's actually uh, not home right now, so we're gonna come back some other day. We're gonna make another video of this car and probably talk about this car a little more, but here you guys have it. Amazing machine, I'm super happy this car is here, alive, and can't wait to talk to the owner of this machine. Uh, also just wanted to say a big thank you to all my subscribers and my friends for supporting my channel, uh, for hitting like buttons and all that. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care. One of the ways how I save classic Mercedes and BMWs is uh, I don't just go out and save them. Uh, also, if I see a classic Mercedes on B or BMW for sale somewhere, I usually what I do is I do a really strange thing as I contact the person, the seller, and I tell them, hey, if I see the car that's for sale that's not running, I usually just contact the seller and I help them out with uh, getting that car running. Um, and that's how I also make, make friends and that's how I save a lot of these classic cars as well so that's another tip for you guys if you know someone if you're scroll scrolling through you know facebook marketplace or craigslist or whatever you see a car classic mercedes or bmw that are not running you can just contact the seller and be like hey you know like i love these cars you know and uh, i would love to help you, you get this car running and literally what i've done uh, for the past week i probably helped at least five people get classic mercedes running uh because they were for sale and they were for sale for really cheap but they were really far away so i couldn't get to them but i just contacted them and i told the sellers what to do how to diagnose the car and they were working with me together and they just helped me out uh or i mean they i helped them out <laughs> so that's how we got those cars running so the sellers were really happy and a lot of them actually removed their ads and they're not selling those cars anymore because they're fixed so that's awesome It's been here for a while. We also found this really cool Volvo here, 240. Must be late 80s, early 90s. Really sweet. Right hand drive, very clean wagon. It's, uh, let's see, it's automatic really really cool guys super beautiful condition wow brand new tires oh well, that's some really cool stuff that you see in japan really beautiful must be a 90s car
That is a Buick. That's cute. In Japan.